Hey guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for the continued support, suggestions, and phone calls. Today vlog, we're back looking at artificial insemination in small ruminants under the National Small Ruminant Genetic Improvement Program. Before we get to the AI, they have to do some field checks on some farms, I'm um, ensuring that the TMR is mixing properly and looking at their fodder quality. Like this weird in the field. If you look, you have like green patches, green, and then a difference like in the chlorophyll level. Um, see something very similar here. I wonder what caused this. I don't know if it's like probably excess manure drop here or something. But it's so weird. It's that small. You can see patches of these green, extra green spots throughout it across the whole field. Um, so we're gonna take some samples today. Some grab samples, kind of test what the field doing. Um, it's about a month and a half old. So, you know, just want to see what the mulatto grass is doing out here. So we can, you know, anytime we start harvesting this field, we can make adjustments to the formulation to ensure that we're meeting the animal's nutrient requirements. I do hope in this vlog we can look into some of the issues surrounding AI. And one such for me, a major concern for me is definitely the animal nutrition. Um, it's very important. That is why before we're going around doing a lot of our silage making trainings or just kind of informing farmers on what we would consider the best feeding programs for small ruminants. Animal nutrition is the fundamental element in what prepares the operation for success. It overcomes health it overcomes reproductive inefficiencies and we always try to have these animals or have farmers aware that having animals in the best body condition having them on a, a systematic nutritional program for example using the flushing technique before an ai or before even natural mating is important in increasing your chances of conception and that's where we'd like to begin this vlog in just looking at how nutrition plays a very important role in the AI process and we hope that farmers will understand that when you are now preparing yourselves to undergo the AI process under this government initiative. Farmers serious. One screenshot this from off of the one vlog I'm do one time up with Mark Constable. Have it up in him goat pen. So yes we're gonna do AI at Mr. Facey right now. On our last update we're looking at the synchronization process with Dr. McHugh where we look at different protocols to get these animals cycling or meaning to get them in heat. You as the farmer play an important role in identifying when the animals come into it. I would love if you collect the time because it's important in time in AI. Um, so the signs of heat is important. Here we have some animals mounting each other. Clear indication that they're either coming into or coming off heat. You see a lot of tail wagging going on and they sometimes make a lot of noise. This farm had animals crying for roughly three to four hours all night because you know indicating that the synchronization process was working so you called us and said hey guys the animal came on heat and we'll try to get there within 12 hours time now to do the ai process but first you know we have to come and we do our little setup um, we have our canister with the semen we ensure we clean all our devices and we get ready on your farm so you know we like nice space for where we're going to mount our tables and where we're going to mount the AI stand or where is it that we're going to harness the animal depending on the operation we might have to adjust so the tying process is also important for the semen um, we you know we have we need electricity to use this tying machine or if not we sometimes can use our vehicle um, to power the process so important is having a source of electricity and space for us to can do this process inside the pen or outside of the pen so factors that can affect AI is something that we also have to take into consideration. Um, one such factor on our part is the semen quality. And that's what we're doing right now. Before we actually inseminate these animals, we need to ensure that the straw that we just tied, semen quality is looking really good. And we use look at it was more motility tests. We like to see movements going on and the level of movement can really determine how best the semen is. And it's also a factor that will influence the potential of conception so that's what it like on the microscope we see a lot of twitching that's the actual semen and the tail flicking up and down and we can estimate what percentage of the semen is alive or dead 
um, what would really be good for us is definitely over 60 percent you know that we could eliminate that the semen was a problem and this tech though our senior eye to make this observation again we want the animal comfortable we want to look at the animal's body condition to ensure that our feeding program is working well and then dr McHugh will get to work um, if what he has in his hand there is the speculum and he has his light source and he would now be looking at the cervix of the animal and we can actually see if the animal went into good heat or not um, the cervix have a distinct look um, if you look at this video now you could actually see that we're trying to look inside trying to find the cervix and if you look there that structure that looked like a rose petal that's the cervix and we could say that yes this animal is definitely ready for the ai program because it's protruding it has it's red and that's a very good indication for us now to begin the process of ai so after you found it it's time for him to use his ai gun or catheter to deposit the semen beyond the cervix so we want to get inside the cervix because it increases the conception rate we could just deposit the semen inside the vagina and what the conception rate will go down we could deposit it in the rings of the cervix which again in reduces the conception rate so what so dr McHugh is to get a past the three rings of the cervix and deposit the semen right in the uterus body that increases your conception rate and the potential chance of the animal getting pregnant once the animal is in good sound and reproductively receptive um, there's a big question mm -hmm. also about um, using virgins in the ai process um, we have modified our ai technique and the ai apparatus to can the virgins but there are some issues that we need to look into virgins that virgin ai process but for for, for, for well, usually for for for, for dolins, what we recommend because of the size of the cervix, we normally use a dummy straw. Dummy straw means that you don't put the, the, a loaded straw. The semen is not introduced into the straw. So you go through and the straw, your, the, the main aim is to use the straw as a cervical dilator. Okay. So you want to try and dilate the cervix because at the end of the day, if you can't penetrate the cervix and deposit it in the body, you're going to reduce the chance of conception. So rather than have a loaded gun going in and you can't penetrate and you have to deposit it in the, in the, in the vagina, it reduces the conception rate. So we now use a, a dummy gun, go all the way through, you know exactly how to penetrate the cervix and by doing that it actually dilates the cervix. So once you're comfortable with that, then you load the, load the gun with the, with the straw and then, well, with the, with, the, with the semen in the straw and then you just go right through all right, and increase thanks. the conception rates. Thank you, Doc. We have a new member to the team, you know, man. This is, this is the young Prime Minister Awadi. It's which year? 2020. 2020. Right. So you see why he's the Awadi? Recently minted. Yes, man. Right. The man out here with us learning. 4 champ champion farmer. And 4-H champion, champion farmer. farmer. Yes. Boss in action. Uh, 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 after a successful day of AI. We eat a melon. Yes, my boss. <laughs> so I like to report that we even have bigger news. Um, after a living year drought of the importation of goats into the country, we finally have such a success where the College of Agriculture Science and Education brought in 28 boar animals into the country. This is a major major improvement for the sectors now i believe this has opened doors for other farmers to consider bringing in these animals and i think the aim is to bring in as much breeding females as possible because that is what will drive the sector forward especially if we plan to focus on meat production so guys great news for the sector uh, morning guys i got some great news from the small Winter association of jamaica today regarding farmers now having access or we are creating an opportunity for farmers to import live goat or sheep from the US or Canada. So guys, I want you guys to click the link above, um, register, so we can begin that lobbying process or that organizational process to get this activity done. Um, this is great news for the industry. Let us make this happen.